<clears throat> Hi, welcome. As you know, uh, we have our boat and we have it uh, on the hard at the moment, but uh, and it's raining hard at the moment, so there's nothing I can do. So what I want to do is do an exercise on, I've got to put solar power onto the boat. And I, I, I honestly, I don't know much about solar. How it works, what to do. So what I want is people out there to advise me. I do know uh, the most important thing is what do I want to use it for on the boat? Well, the most important thing I think I want to use would... Uh, would be really just a microwave as plus all the charging of the phones charging of the phones uh, I presume lights radio that's about it I think uh, the, the, the biggest thing is, is going to be the microwave I've, because you do need to heat your food up don't you? so I think we're going to go for the microwave now I've done a bit of research on, uh, on on YouTube and they do say that I can use a microwave up to 800 watts yeah and it needs an inverter so uh, so that's what we're going to do so so as I understand and um, do correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not uh, I'm not the great is the fact is I've been advised that possibly the best thing to do would be to have two solar panels uh, at about a hundred watts each so that would give me a, a total of what 200 wouldn't it is that going to be enough really let me know because we could increase these up I presume up to 200 200 and up to 400 but then you would worry 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 about the size of them wouldn't you and then stand me if I'm correct you then need a uh, a controller a power controller controller now apparently there's there's two types of that two types of power controllers in which I'm not quite sure so what what you would actually do would run run your uh, your your solar panels into your uh, into the control power and then you would get a voltage out now I've, I've decided that uh, the voltage to use is is 12 volts because so that would give me 12 volts out of the power controller which then has to go to uh, batteries doesn't it again whether you use one or two batteries I'm not sure but I, I always think it's best to have two uh, 12 volt 12 volt bats And then the power control, the the power controller would then come in and link the batteries up. I presume like this. Did do help if I'm wrong. Uh, right. What size and and what type of battery do I need? So. Uh, so we've got to talk about that and then obviously you then out of out of the power controller would come would would come to the inverter So that would be 12 volts in, which I presume it does it all in here, does it? And then this this out here, theoretically, would 
be two volty volts. Am I right? I, I, I'm not sure. Does that does that look something right to everybody? Now, after spending a little while on uh, on YouTube, the reason I'm only going to go on 12 volts is because I'm only ever going to use it on the boat and when the boat's on the swing mooring I just want 12 volts there so if I've got to use my pump to pump the bilge out I've always got voltage if I've got two batteries I can charge one up and charge one down if I'm at home I can always bring one battery home and charge it up on on the mains and then bring it and swap them over that way so until I until I get that right now what size batteries do I need you know would you you know would you look at you know a hundred amp total so that'd be 50 each or, or I, I'm, I'm not sure uh, I, I, I think if we went for 150 amps yeah and made these 75 amps each yeah because they're connected in parallel so that would give me 150 amps there uh, in battery power the inverter I've been advised again it's got to be a 1500 watt apparently if I've got a, a 1500 watt that will power the 240 volt circuit and the only 2 voltage circuit I'm going to use is really is, is for the microwave I did look at getting a 12 volt microwave but they're astronomically expensive so it, it's everybody on YouTube seems to think you need a uh, a cheap microwave and a solar power system like this uh, which is good so the questions what questions do we have well let, 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 let's let's do a question a bit down down here number one is what size panels size of the panels all right and uh, number two is the controller uh, controller uh, now there's two types MPP and PWW or something uh, uh, so what type what type yeah and then Number three is the battery size. The battery size. And then number four is the inverter. Inverter. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm looking at. Now, whew. I'm going to have to go away and price all this up because I could do it in a three stage thing couldn't I you know I, I could start just by getting myself two decent sized batteries yeah and an inverter and sort of get rid of that bit and then I can then check that this will work and run a microwave because what I can do with the batteries is actually take one battery away uh, charge it up, bring it back and just swap them around when I'm at home because I'm not going to be at sea for years and years and years so I've got a feeling possibly this is going to be the best system is then just charging the batteries up uh, and do it that way so I think what we're going to go for to start with unless you anything different is to is to get a couple of batteries again what type of battery this you can either use a car battery a caravan type battery or you can use these low low uh, very expensive batteries which we'll be using so <laughs> and an inverter so i think that is going to be the first charge uh, so yeah i think that's what we're going to go with 
If anybody wants to give me any advice, please, 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 I'm, this is my winter project, so there's no rush. Uh, if anybody's done it on their own boat, or, or apparently people do this on motorhomes as well and camper vans, so if anybody's got any help out there that can help me with this, uh, I'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. You love me. <sighs> bit confusing, really, isn't it? No, never mind. Be good. Be happy. Don't get Look after the animals. Welcome back. I've been on and uh, I, I, I went on to uh, Facebook, Facebook and somebody come on and said don't mess around with all this Ted. <laughs> oh, oh I like this. He says get yourself one of these power bank things which they're all in one. You, uh, I'm trying to think who makes it now. He, he did give me the name. Uh, it's gone. It's gone from me. Uh, and just use one of them because they've got all the batteries in it, the inverters in it, the 12 volts in there, you can charge everything from it and all you have to do is connect the solar panels up. So I can get rid of all this because uh, uh, the batteries will be there in the thing, the power power can box, whatever it is, the controller's in there, the, all that's gone. So all I have to do is get the solar panel. So I think I might get one of these power blocks, whatever they're called. Baghetti? Is it Baghetti make them? Baget, the, I, 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 I'll, I'll check it out on... Uh, on uh, on internet. Uh, anyway, just a minute. I'm going to go away now, and 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 see if we can uh, find out information about that. Well, <laughs> well let's have a laugh and a joke here. This is a this is what I was advised to get as a power station. They called it a, a portable power station, thousand watt. But look, it's a thousand pound. That's uh, be on my budget but to be honest with you what it actually does it does exactly what uh what i want it to do i've, you know, I've just read through all the instructions and everything and it, it's got uh multiple outputs it's got two usbs uh carport sine wave outlet off grid your power your consumer yeah uh portable uh, only only weighs 22 pounds it's very very light isn't it and you can take it where, where, wherever you want. Uh, yeah, uh, you can get solar panels for it. They've got solar panels over here. But uh, large battery capacity. You can, oh, here, here we come. So you can use a blender. Mike, oh, yeah, similar to what microwave you can use for 1.2 hours. Well, yeah, I won't be using them. Yeah, so it does everything. But unfortunately, it's got one minor problem. Is It's the price. I think uh, a, you know a, a thousand pounds a little bit too much, but what I do is I'll, I'll carry on looking. You never know. Uh, now I know what they're called. Apparently, this is the market leader. There must be uh, a cheaper one. So what we do, we go and see if we can find a cheaper one. Unless Mr. Jack and Jackery want to send me one. <laughs> Got as much chance as that. But still, never mind. You never know. You can always ask. Hey, Mr. Jackery, how would you like to uh, supply me? Sweet Sarah, with a power station, please. Thank you. Ah. Pie in the sky, pie in the sky, pie in the sky. Now I'm totally confused. Because I've uh, just spent a little while looking on YouTube and everywhere. And uh, well, the best deal I can find is this, uh, is this power station here. I've never heard of the make before. Uh, but uh, it does it say it's a thousand watts. I've read all the instructions it should do the micro, so everything seems to be okay. So, and when you compare that to the other one price at nearly a thousand pounds, this one's uh, you know half the price. But is it as good? Because look, it's got uh, you know, it, it's got 13 amp plugs, it's got a nice display on it, tells you everything it does. Uh, and then you've got output, you've got 12 volt output at, at, at 10 amps, that's amazing. And you've got an input, so you can actually charge it as well from there. Uh, yeah, uh, and then there's all your plugs for your uh, for your phones and everything. So, so it really does everything that I want. But four hundred pounds, don't know. Re re really, what I want is advice. I think before I go spending this amount of money, uh, just to heat just to heat my pot noodles, eh? <laughs>
<laughs> oh dear me. I think uh, no, I think we're just uh, we go <laughs> we go off the idea. Anyway, it's a winter project. Will I do it or won't I do it? I I don't know at the moment. Uh, there are just so many, and I've 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 had my my brain blown away by all this. So anyway, wish me luck. Be good. Be happy. Don't forget. Be kind to the animals. <laughs> and uh, just pray for this storm to go through and uh, get the weather nice and then we'll get down to the boat and do some cleaning that's the most important thing don't cost nothing to clean a boat does it just elbow grease be good be happy see you soon bye